On Saturday, May the 28th, about 400 children from Italy's southern region of Calabria arrived at the Vatican's train station to meet Pope Francis. The event was organized by the Pontifical Council for Culture in collaboration with the Italian State Railways. Father Laurent Massas, one of the organizers of the initiative, explains the origins of the project. Every year the state railways make a train available that I make depart from wherever I want and in a day it comes here to the Vatican and then returns. And I put 500 children in it, trying to bring them from different areas of Italy. This year it was Calabria with a different theme. Two years ago, for example, there was the academic dispersion Children go to school when the parents tell them, you've been bad, tomorrow you're going to school. Then last year there were children of detainees, and this year the theme was immigrants. This year was the fourth edition of the children's train. This year's theme was brought by waves, chosen to emphasize the mortal danger migrants face and their hope in the promise of a better future. Some of the children are immigrants who arrived only recently to Italy. Some arrived just five days before the event, children who have crossed the Mediterranean and some who have lost their family members during the trip. Pope Francis welcomed the children into the Paul VI Hall. The young travelers heard the words of the Pope with empathy and attention and presented their talents and gifts to him. And this? The waves. And what are the waves? Tell me a little. And the waves, what do waves do? They move. They move. And do they push you forward? Yes. And are they also dangerous, the waves? What can they do to you? They can kill you. Say it loudly. They can kill people. If you are still, the waves pull you away. But if you go forward with a bit of strength, they take you forward. Ah, good, huh? Children wrote many letters to the Pope. In one of them, a girl cited the words of Pope Francis, foreign children are not a danger, but they are in danger. During the dialogue with the children, the Holy Father told them a very touching story. The Pope in that moment asked for the life vest that a lifeguard had used to try to save a six-year-old child who was sinking, but unfortunately he wasn't able to do so. And he told the Holy Father last Wednesday, here is the life vest. I couldn't do it and my heart is broken. You could see that the Pope's heart was broken too. Pope Francis invited children to give a name to the little girl, the name they each wished in their hearts. She's in heaven, she's looking on us, he said. One of the characteristics of the pontificate of Pope Francis is his constant appeals to counter this migratory crisis. He told the children they're brave and have to know the truth.